This is the unending road. The most significant journeys never end. They roll on forever, winding roads that fade into the sunset but never truly disappear. We like beginnings and ends. We like to check boxes and cross items off lists. We want to see the finish line, but true character is revealed in the races that do not end. The most powerful and terrifying realization of parenthood is our children never stop being our children. A good parent never stops being a parent. We will always want the best for our children. We always worry about them. They grow up and move out, but the love and hope and fear remains. That's the most challenging and rewarding part of being a teacher, too. We don't get to turn it off. I'm a teacher in the classroom, in the grocery store, at home on the weekend, and years after my students graduate. Those endeavors, parenthood, teaching, they are difficult because they consume large portions of our lives. They don't come and go. It's the same with any task that fills us with passion and purpose. I feel similarly about creativity and wellness. I might not have the same love for those things I have for being a dad or being an educator, but those are aspects of my daily life. Things that don't get turned off. I wouldn't write or draw or create if I wasn't called to do so. I have a desire to bring ideas to life, and that passion is always there. I need to create. I feel the same way about my general wellness and personal growth. I try to work on my physical and mental health every day. Those gardens need constant tending. I'm always trying to read more, learn more, do more, be more. If I stop growing, I'll start dying. I'm sure of it. Relationships are no different. Friendships, romances, partnerships of every kind require maintenance and contribution. Even our oldest and most reliable relationships are ever-changing. We have to keep those connections moving and growing. When we don't, those relationships stagnate. They rot away. We want some consistency in our lives. We take comfort in the seemingly reliable aspects of our existence. But those steady features of our lives are often the easiest things to take for granted. I feel fine. No need to start exercising. I'm not depressed, so I don't need to address my mental health. We've been married for 10 years. I don't need to bring home flowers. My friend knows I care about him. I don't need to call. It's easiest to ignore the things on which we most rely. That's why we must routinely pay into the meaningful aspects of our lives. All of the most important things are unending roads. They're journeys that must be traveled every day. That can seem daunting, but it's also powerful. In an uncertain existence, unending roads are constants. Our deepest passions, our most strongly held beliefs, our sense of purpose and identity are always there. Those are unending roads. They may be hard to travel, they're often rocky and winding paths, obscured by brush and bramble, but they are the roads worth taking. They take us through fear and pain and doubt, but they lead to hope, perspective, and peace. We might stumble along the way, but the course remains. We can take solace in that. No matter how bad things seem, no matter how much it hurts, the trek isn't over. We can put our faith in that. Our journeys don't need to look like anyone else's. They don't have to lead to the same place. All we have to do is find our unending roads and walk. So that's the unending road. And I've just been thinking about that a lot. Um, I'm 
finishing up a book I'm reading called Musashi. I think I've maybe referenced that before. It's about, it's a novelization of the life of Miyamoto Musashi, who is a famous Japanese ronin swordsman. And it focuses a lot on the way, the way of the sword. And it kind of always refers to the fact that the way never ends. It's this constant journey of trying to learn more and this constant journey of self-improvement and trying to sort of reach a sense of peace and purpose. And it's one of the things I really love about the book. Throughout the book, Musashi himself is constantly discovering things and having moments of doubt and being challenged by a lot of different things, be it physical attacks, or just things that he hasn't been able to figure out yet. Just things about life. And to me, that's kind of what this whole existence is about. It's this unending road. We like to think, this is my goal, these are the steps, I'm going to reach the goal, and then it's done, and then I'll be happy, or I'll have the things that I want, the money, the possessions, the house, whatever it is, and often those things don't really fill the voids in our lives. They don't really quench the thirst we have. And I think it's really more about finding the unending roads. I think it's really more about finding the stuff that just doesn't go away. And that can be frustrating at some sometimes because... There is no final destination. We don't get to cross it off the list and be done with it. But those are the most important, purposeful things of our lives. To me, it is being a father. It is being a teacher. There are moments that are challenging and frustrating in those endeavors, and it is this realization of, this is it. I'm always going to be doing this thing. But there is a lot of power and strength in that. To say this is something consistent in my life. This is what I'm about. And I want to keep being better at these things. And I just need to stay on the road. Because I found something that is deeply meaningful to me. So that's it. Go out and try to find the unending roads in your life. The things that feel, fill you with passion and purpose and desire. And just keep walking the path. And understanding that you don't need to worry about a final destination. Because it's ongoing. And it's the journey. It's the walk that counts. Have a great one. Much love.